function returns. Now we've seen the return statement in functions quite a bit, but now it's time for us to dive deeper into it. Functions can optionally return values. Now how we specify that is here we have a function called sum of. It takes two parameters. It is public and now I'm going to say I want it to return some values. We specify this by writing the word returns and then brackets and in here the value type that we want returned. In my case I want to return a uint 256. Now that we have specified what type we're going to return, in the function itself, after you have done your logic or when you are ready to return the value, you can simply write return and then the type. Now depending on your logic you can decide what to return. In my case I'm going to return the sum of num1 plus num2. The parameters that I've passed in here. And the warning tells me now that this function can be pure. So we're going to make it pure. Now let me deploy the contract and then open it up and here is our sum of function. I'm going to pass the value 2 and then with a comma space it and put for the second number 4. I'm going to click on sum of. We can see it returns 6. So our function is working and it's returning the value. Another thing with returns is if you want to have named returns you can do so. All you need to do is specify a name. In my case, I'm going to make this the result, like so. Now, this doesn't change anything, and if we just deploy it again, we open it, and we add some values, it works the same. However, you can maybe omit this return, and instead return it like this. Because here we are assigning the return variable, our return variable, to this result. And then when the function concludes, this will be returned. So we can test this out as well. Let's close it, deploy the contract, and add maybe 2 and 2. Sum of is 4. So what we also can do is instead of having one return value, we can actually have more than one. Let's also return a Boolean value. Maybe we add some logic to check if this was successful or valid, whatever the case. We will add a is success variable. Now to return this it works the same. We can just say that result is that and is success is for instance maybe true. Now if we test it we can deploy our contract and if we execute what is 5 plus 5 we get to see that the result is 10 and is success true because we said it was true. Now you can also alternatively like I said before you don't have to return it like this. I prefer this return statement where you specify the first value, which is our result, and then the success. And this is perfectly fine as well. And it will behave the same. Now let's say we have a function. And in this function, I'm just going to call this my func. In this function, I actually want to call it and set some kind of state variable based on the outcome of the sum of function. Well, we can just extract these values. So what we can do is have our brackets and our defined types here, and then equal this to the sum of. Let's say the sum of four and nine. Now I'm extracting the values, result and success from sum of this function. And then we can use these variables as normal. For example, I can have a uint declared here, my uint, and this I can just leave as such. And then I can just simply say that set my uint now to the result. So this is how you can use uh, functions that have multiple return types. If a function has a single return type, so I'm just going to say this one is a single return. And remember, I can call this whatever I want to. It doesn't mean that I have to return a single value. This is just the name. I'm not going to pass in any parameters and um, I'll leave it as pure. But what I am going to return is maybe just a single value, like a result. And in here, I'll just return maybe the value 12. So if this is the case and a function is returning a single value, you can use it directly in an assignment like so. 
So instead of saying my uint is now result from this function, I'm just simply going to comment this out for now. I'm going to say my uint is going to be equal to my single return function. And if we make this public and deploy this, let's open up the contract. And now let's go ahead and run my func and then look at my uint and it is 12. Okay, so one more thing, if we now close these contracts and just go back for a second, let's uncomment this and get this back to where it was. Here we were extracting these two values from this sum of function, which returns multiple values. But you see this warning. And this is saying that we are not using this is success variable. And that is true because we are only using the result. We are not using this is success. So if you are using the variables or all of the variables, that's fine. Then you won't get this warning. But if you are not going to use a variable, what you can do is simply ignore it like so. But you need to leave the comma over there. For example, if we had more than two return types, maybe we had another bool, I'll just call it test, and we returned maybe false. Now we are returning three values. And in here, if we only wanted to use the result, we would put the comma there as well. So essentially you just omit the values that you don't want to use, but still keep the commas. If you are uncomfortable with the multi-return of a function, then stick with single returns for now until you get more comfortable.